Hey cosplayers, welcome to this video. My name is Chris from the UK Garrison. Uh, my TK number is TK41979. As a death trooper, it's TX4197. Uh, welcome to this video. Well, in this little video, I want to talk through how to do the scorching on your E11D blaster. Now, there's lots of good video videos out there. Um, lots of people talking through how to use uh, the airbrushes. Uh, this is just my little attempt to kind of share with you a little bit about how I did my first and second blast. Now, what you'll see here on the screen is I'm just laying down uh, like the first coat. And this is Tamiya X11 Chrome Silver. All I'm doing here is laying down the base of the silver uh, for the end of the blaster. And you, now you'll notice I'm holding it kind of down on its end. Uh, and all I'm doing is kind of using that as a balance to be able to kind of turn it as I'm spraying. What you want to end up with is something that's even all the way around, which it will do uh, in a moment. There we go. It looks even all the way around. Uh, and I'm also doing the insides now. Uh, scorching happens on the inside of the blaster as well as the outside of the blaster. This is just a bit of PVC pipe that I'm doing a bit of a test run on. Uh, what I like to do before I do anything on my blaster is just kind of get into the groove, get into the feel of it, uh, get myself back into using my uh, airbrush. So I'm laying down now a second colour. This is Model Air's uh, Ferrari Red. Um, but I've mixed it with a little bit of silver, so it's not quite as bright. I'm going for a bit of a burnt orange kind of feel. Don't want to put too much in uh, on here at all. Uh, you can have way too much red. The second colour that I'm laying down is just a simple electric blue. Uh, it's mixed with silver again. Everything I'm doing at the moment is just mixing it with silver. Uh, all I'm wanting to do is add like toned silver paint in as a bit of the foundation, really. The next colour that I'm uh, starting to lay down here uh, will be, I think, yeah, it's my Bronze X33. Uh, this is Tamiya again. I, I love this colour. This is uh, it's kind of an off silver, and I, I love it because it just adds a, a bit of a tone to it. Uh, it doesn't look so great on the camera, uh, I have to add. That's my excuse uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, I love to add just a little bit of bronze in them. This is my favourite colour. Uh, this is again a Timia paint. This is a Metallic Blue X13. And this is the one I go uh, a bit crazy on in a minute, actually, on my blaster. I love this colour. So this is my E11. I've never finished with it. I'm, I'm always fiddling, always fiddling. I think as a cosplayer, you're never quite happy. But I wanted to come in and just lay down a little bit more uh, of that blue, that metallic blue. It actually reminds me of, of the blue on the NASA spacesuit. You know, where they, uh, on the metalwork, they have this red and this kind of metallic blue on, on the NASA spacesuits. And I love that colour. Uh, so I'm just adding down a little bit more, actually, onto my uh, E11 now. I can't get enough of this colour. This, for me, is where uh, the scorching, just at the end. Now, you only, for me, you only ever use the blue at the very, very end. I've seen some people do it at... Uh, at the other end of the scorching, like six inches down, and I, I don't quite, I don't quite get that why you would put it there. Uh, for me, the the blue goes at the end, and it's also what you see kind of on screen. You don't see blue uh, on the blaster further down. What I'm doing here is you can see I'm just keep turning my blaster, turning my blaster, turning my blaster, turning my blaster, turning. You never hold it still, and I'm almost like flicking the paint on because uh, all I'm wanting to do is very lightly. Uh, kind of get it on the end of the blaster. What, what I'm not doing at any point is spraying it direct into the blaster. I'm always kind of spraying it a little bit away. So what I've been trying to do uh, here is just, I wanted to update uh, just the end of my E11. Uh, having had it out recently, I looked at it and I thought, oh, I just want a little bit more of that blue in there. This blue is just my favorite. It's a metallic blue X13. It's uh, just such a lovely color. And I wanted more of it at the end of the blaster. Uh, I'd, I'd got uh, some nice layers in there, which I was quite happy with, but it was just the end. I wanted a little bit more blue. So what you can see I've been doing here, just as a little test run, just to get warmed up. Uh, got some blue. Uh, I first laid down the silver. Um, I really, if I was doing this properly, I'd have gone in there and put some uh, kind of burnt yellow in there first. Uh, but I laid down a bit of red. Uh, and then 
some of this, uh, which I do enjoy, the Bronze X33 from Timia. Um, and then I just put some burnt in the end. It was just a rough playthrough. You kind of get an idea uh, of what you're trying to achieve. The key thing is less is more. Uh, you can always go back, as I've done today, just adding a little bit of extra in. Um, if that was the end of your blaster, um, it would have. It's passable. It's not amazing, but it, it is passable. Uh, what I did was I bought myself just a, a tube of uh, just plumber's tube. It's what you have in your in your um, uh, in your kitchen in your sink. Uh, got a load of that and. Uh, I was able to do some kind of tests with that, plays with that. One of the things that I found quite nice was either you want to hold it at a distance and you're aiming the um, airbrush kind of away from you. You don't want to hold it like this. You want to be kind of holding it more like that and moving it backwards and forwards. I actually quite like it this way when you first put in the silver in because it just allows you to kind of get a nice little gradient. It doesn't want to grade out too far because you don't want it too far up your barrel at all. Uh, but that's roughly what you're aiming for. And as you're using the paint, you do want to be using some airbrush thinner. The reason for that is if not, it comes out too strong too quick uh, and uh, you just end up with far too much uh, paint on the end of your blaster. But that's roughly what you're going for. Um, I might have a little, little play for a moment and just add some more of that bronze uh, in the middle. Uh, but I thought that would give you a little bit of an idea. I might have a little bit more of a play uh, for a moment. One of the things I'm doing there is I'm just kind of like flicking it a little bit. Uh, just trying to, and one of the things you want to make sure is that you get it all inside your barrel. Uh, your barrel counts, people see down there if it's scorched on the outside, definitely wants to be scorched uh, on the inside. What I don't do as well is I'm, I'm not actually cleaning out my um, cup at all at the moment, which in some ways is bad practice, but because I want colours to blur into each other, I'm, not, I'm also not that worried um, about that happening, particularly on this because I'm just having a bit of a play around. Um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in just a little extra bit of red into the bronze. Not much at all, just the smallest amount. Don't forget you can mix the colours. Uh, different paints mix differently. Um, it's useful having a little plate that you are... Um, Tray, um, a bit of wood or something that you're spraying on, then you're not worried about where it's going to go. I'm quite liking that colour actually. Shouldn't really be doing it so close to the rest of the blaster, but I'm liking the colour that I'm getting there. To be honest, I'm really liking what that colour is coming out like. See, I, this is what I did when I was actually painting my blaster. Um, I was testing out on something else and I would keep coming back to my blaster then and having another look at it. If I liked the colour I was getting, I might then add it to my blaster. Kept playing backwards and forwards like that until I got something that I was happy with. <laughs> now some of the people's blasters, I noticed that they have a really strong red in there. I'm not convinced by that red at all. Personally, I mean, it's everybody's personal choice, isn't it? Um, I like what's happening there. I like what's happening there. So there you go. Gives you a little bit of an idea of um, so the airbrush that I've got here, 
I like it because it's it feels more like a gun and I can kind of aim it. The, the ones where you usually think on top, I always found that was more clumsy than ever with those. That's roughly what you're kind of aiming for. Something like that. Uh, this airbrush, I'm very happy with it. I can't more highly uh, recommend. Uh, the pump itself that you attach to it. Actually, I picked this up from Lidl years and years ago. Um, and uh, it, it does a great job uh, for me. I've done a number of uh, paint jobs with it and I've been really pleased. Yeah, there we go. Show me what you've come up with. Uh, I'd love to see uh, your blast. I'd love to see how you've used the paint and uh, and how you found it. You know, if you've got any tips on how to do it better as well, or any particular cause that you really like, uh, then I'd love to hear from you as well. As you can see, I'm always updating uh, my blaster all the time. It's something I'm always fiddling with uh, and playing with. So I'd love to, to hear your thoughts.